Yeah, good morning to you. On a very special episode of Good Day Orlando, we feature Gentle Carousel out of Ocala, one of the largest equine therapy programs in the world. Its team of 20 tiny horses have visited over 25,000 adults and children each year nationwide inside hospitals, hospice programs, and with families, veterans, and first responders who have experienced traumatic events. Magic and Sweetheart both helped in the aftermath of the Pulse nightclub attack, the Surfside condo collapse, and the Sandy Hook massacre. Feel free to reach out to Gentle Carousel online if you have a need for the mini horse therapy. Hello, Magic. Meanwhile, founder George Garcia Bengochea allowed our cameras into a Florida senior living center to witness the therapy firsthand. She's very talkative. Well, we came in today and into the lobby and we met a gentleman named Don and uh, he told us he was 97 and a half. Hi there, little guy. <laughs> yeah, she's 13 years old. I, I've got her beat. I'm only, <laughs> I'm only 97, 97 and a half. And he got to meet Magic and just told us a little bit about his past and some of the animals that he owned and how much he enjoyed meeting Magic. Cats. We used to have cats. Is that right? Yeah, we had cats. Okay. <coughs> Are you ready? So we got to walk down the hallways, and he enjoyed that. We do what's called the double lead line, where he actually led the horse himself. Um, and then he started singing songs to magic. I, I got a song I'd like to sing. Okay. Folks are dumb where I come from. They ain't had any learning. Still they're happy as can be, doing what comes naturally. What's interesting is when you meet with somebody like Don, is uh, he starts to really dial into the horse, and it's almost like a conversation with the horse, and uh, he's telling stories, singing songs. That's what we look for. We want the horses to engage with the, the residents and vice versa, that they can dial in and, and make a connection. Yeah, she, boy, hey, we're doing a, very well here. Boy, she's doing... She's taking me for a, a ride. David Martin, Fox 35 News.